cavities, all the cavities, and verify that the oil pass. Look, you see? Look at this. <laughs> he squirted me. Look at this, yeah, you see? Look, look, yeah, good, is. So if this one was uh, cramped up, Cramping, wouldn't it make, wouldn't it and this is main Jordan. If this was stopped up, wouldn't it, wouldn't it affect yeah. the stop this the other one? This one is up? connected with this, this one connected with this, and uh, this one. Yeah, so you see. Wouldn't it affect this one then? Saying if there's a problem oh, here. If this, if this one two? stopped up, wouldn't it, wouldn't it stop? This would probably be these two. And this is not connected with this, you see? Oh, yeah, it's connected, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know how is the, yeah. the configuration, but... Uh, but if this is stopped up, then this one could possibly be stopped up too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where does the oil enter from, right here? Oh, the Which oil. Side? Look, the oil entered here in the main, in the first main journal, from here. Come on here, puppy. Pass over there, pass over there. The, the oil enter here, lubricate that one, and start to lubricate the other one. The oil, the oil coming from the oil pump. This is the oil pump, look. That's the oil pump, you see? The oil pump, the oil enter over there, and enter in the first journal, pass through the other one. Yeah, this is, this is the idea. For that reason, you need to be 100% sure that those cavities are completely, completely free. Completely free. Look, this one is communicated also with the bearings of the cam chaff. Those are the bearings of the cam chaff. Yeah, and the other one, the other one. That's the secret, the lubrication. No, guys? You enjoy that? that yeah. That's clear for you? You need analyze. Hey, my friend, only in one cylinder the bearings are where? The other cylinder is perfect. The problem is concentrated in that point. I need to verify what happened. The oil is not circulating. Okay, what situation produce that uh, those cavities are clogged? Why? Bad oil. Dirty. Okay, dirty oil, no? And uh, what other is, is, is the most common that uh, clogged? Water and oil. Of course, water in the oil. Carbon. Uh, yeah. Additives. Additives, additives, additives. The additives, what is the function of the additives? Why the people one day decide to use additives? Uh, for the oil. But why? The uh, moisture. Because the people want? More performance? More pressure, more pressure. Uh, for pressure? Yeah, you know, you remember yesterday? You, you have three gauge, oil pressure gauge, temperature gauge, and uh, what is the other one? Exhaust. Exhaust gases. Exhaust gas temperature uh, gauge, no? And uh, you say, oh, my oil pressure is down. Oh, let me check. Okay, it's not, no milky. Okay, no water, number one. Uh, let me flush the oil for other one. In the course, in the chapter of uh, lubrication, I'm going to explain a lot of tips about that. You replace the oil for fresh oil. Uh, probably the pressure increase a little, but two days later, once again, drops and somebody said, put an additive, infinito, solution. Okay, what happened with the additives? What is the, what is the function of the additive? More pressure. No? no? Okay, more pressure, but mm -hmm. why? Why create? Mixed because thicker. increase the viscosity. It's heavy, no? The, uh, how those additives increase the viscosity? For example, you have a liquid and you want to convert that liquid more vis with more viscosity, more like than thickness or what? Yeah. It's because you added yells. Yeah. Yells. When you added yells, what happened? Now the fluid is more viscous. Correct. But what happened with those gels? What happened with those gels when uh, during the morning in the winter with low temperature? They freeze. Oh, it costs. It's solid. It's solid. It's solid in the in the oil pan. Yeah, yeah. What happened when you start the engine in the morning? Suction those gels. And what happened with those small cavities? Close. 